Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show right so uh let's have a look what libra are to experience throughout the week and the first thing that we're going to have a look at uh this is going to be your love life libra so let me shuffle and uh, see what you are to experience guys Right, so the first one here is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Two of Pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the uh, Death card, and the last one, uh, that is going to be the Ace of Swords. Now, very interesting, okay? Uh, very, very interesting. So, uh, the first thing that came to my mind, or right off the top of my head, my first, first impression here, consistency, right? That is very important. Um, now the uh, the cards are pointing that this consistency will allow you to reverse the course of events, uh, if I may say it that way, or to say save your marriage, save your relationship, or just get the attention of somebody that you do want to get attention to. Uh, changing concepts, it is the last thing you want, okay, throughout the week uh, itself. And at the end of the week, you are going to see that things were way different than you, that you thought they were. Uh, I have to give you an example uh, in order to be sure that I am making my point across well. Um, say that uh, you haven't heard from uh, your person of interest for, a long, for uh, the whole week, okay? You're trying to get in touch with them, you are consistent, they don't come back to you. Uh, and you think the worst, right? That they are duped you, but it turns out something different and it's actually a, a valid reason why they have not came to you at uh, the whole week or for the, uh, the, big, the big chunk of the week itself, okay? So very important here is not to presume, but to stick up with, um, with your original goal or with your original idea in terms of a relationship. Now, those which are single though, they have to pretty much uh, keep up socializing. That is all that they gotta do here with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And the Two of Pentacles. And they need to keep up uh, socializing in the same circle they are because there is a, a very good chance there that you do have somebody who has an interest in you, but they have not showed sh showed that interest by now. And now this week they're gonna start, you know, opening themselves, not entirely, but you are gonna start having an, an idea, you know, that that person has bigger interest than just a friendship toward you, okay? 
and uh, those who are in a very strong relationship and really good marriage and, and good relationship itself uh, this week it the, this week will allow you to uh, raise the bar on all right up the game I don't know how to say it uh, it's it's more like a contemplating upon a bigger enterprise in there like engagement like new home you know like children and so on and so forth now the thing is that whatever uh, with those cards whatever you're trying to execute there whomever you tr you're trying to be with okay or, or or whatever enterprise you're trying to establish within your current uh, love life um th that thing is going to jump into the next level and that's why you need to have consistency and like I said at the end of the uh, at the end of the week libra you are going to see why things didn't happen by now the way you wanted them to happen uh, and uh, it will be a pretty valid reason uh, and as well you are going to understand that uh, it was not because of you also okay so you're gonna have that accurate diagnosis over uh, over the situation itself and uh, yeah I mean at the end of the week you may even hear the words I love you right and that will be a, a, a beautiful thing but only if you do show consistency once again that is the thing you need to keep up with and uh, one last uh, one last thing uh, also the week will call for a, a big portion of conscientiousness that you need to support your actions with towards your person of interest towards your partner or toward in generally the social circle you are uh, you are in uh, so pretty much uh, that is uh, that is your love tarot reading guys uh, for the week itself and now let's uh, have a look what kind of career you are going to uh, experience you are going to have to tackle with Right, so career-wise, we do have the uh, Hierophant here moving next. That is going to be the Page of Pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the Death card once again. And uh, the last one here is going to be Justice. Uh, one sentence, I mean, your your readings are pretty straightforward. And career-wise, you are going to find out that you are not as far as you thought you were, okay? Uh, in a sense of that, uh, how can I say say that way you may think that you do deserve a promotion you still have what to what to show and what to prove before you get there in fact at the end of this week um the the, the process of the the process of growing in terms of career is going to begin by you being given a very important responsibilities and there you are to be tested how well you can manage those responsibilities in terms of a structuring them and under structuring them i mean you know um placing the immediate uh, uh the responsibility that requires an immediate attention first and then going uh forward with the chain of responsibilities in such a way that at the end you leave nothing unattended okay and uh uh, also, uh, throughout the week itself, uh, you are going to be tested as well how much you keep up with the job. I don't know if that's the, really the term that I should use. How much, how important the job is for you. Because um, the higher fund has that peculiar um, manifestation in terms of career. That you should do your job for the job itself, itself and not for the paycheck at the end. Okay, and that will be pretty much seen there so if you do the job only for the money it is unlikely that you know you're gonna get any further than what you are right now but if you do not care about the money but you do job or you do the job with all of your heart then um like said the real pro process process of you growing into the place that you are at will uh will start will start happening throughout the week now if you don't care about the job itself and it's all about the money uh, then the advice here of the cards is just you know 
try to find yourself another job, but don't leave this one, okay? This one is pretty much safe and sound for now, and you can pretty much start applying for a new job while you are, you are uh, working this one. Um, important thing to know it is that things are going to get serious, okay? From now on, things are starting to get serious, especially for those who recently started a job. Uh, they're pretty much trail period and period of alignment there and period where they get to, uh, they get, they are to get the hang of it, it's over, okay? And now you are going to be um, plunged into the depths of the work itself. Those who are looking for a job throughout the week, uh, it seems that uh, there is going to be uh, um, an opportunity for a job that they want, or rather like, I don't know how to say it. So it will be uh, the place the, uh, the place that they can start to work at is not going to be exactly the job they want, but through that place they can get the job they want, okay? And that's why, again, it's going to be demanded from them that they do not concern themselves with the current situation or with the paycheck and so on and so forth, but instead do the job with love and, uh, and attention and as well devotion and conscientiousness there. And uh, that pretty much is going to help them to um, to move forward. But again, that is this week. It's a big test. Is the job that you are working your thing or not? And if it is not your thing, your thing, you have to pretty much do whatever you can to change it. Okay, uh, whatever you can, because otherwise you are always going to be unhappy there, and there won't be any progress whatsoever. So that being said, Libra, this was your a weekly tarot readings, guys. Uh, hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.